Isn't his presence so sweet right now? Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Just continue in that atmosphere of praise. Worship him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Oh, the anointing. The anointing is so strong and so powerful to meet your needs and prepare your way. We thank you, Father. Oh, we glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lele Bosonto Koro Bataha Tiki Dada Bosonto. Ye Lele Bosonto Kata Bataha. Ye Sekete Bosonda. Ye Seketa Batata Taki Dada Bosonda. Ye Lele Lala Bataha. Ye Sekora Lala Lala Bataha. Ye Sekora Lala Bataha. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Praise you. We glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We honor you. We honor you. Oh, we praise your holy name, Lord. We worship you. Oh, we glorify your name. Oh, oh hallelujah, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Your plan of actions are mobilized. 
Thank you, Father. Oh, don't you know the Lord loves His praises? You may be seated. Thank you, praise and worship team. That was wonderful. Every time I get up here, after hearing the praise and worship team, I'm just boosted. It makes it so much easier, doesn't it? It's a boost. Thank you, Father. But what he put on my heart tonight, he's got a word for you here just in a minute too. But he says, with his help, it'll fulfill your dreams. That's entitled. That's a good start, isn't it? Well, last Tuesday night, Pastor Paul, and I made a note of this, said this. Once we obey our actions... It releases the power of God in our life. Once we obey with our actions, it releases the power in our life. Amen? Now, over the last 11 weeks or so now, God has directed me to present to you practical instruction on how to enhance your finances. He's told me that you have good hearts, you have good intentions, you just need to improve the capability to give. And that's what we're doing, out of obedience to Him. How many knows when you obey Him, good things happen? Amen. Amen. The results have been exceptional, and I don't, I'm not, uh, that's what I expected, and that's what's happening. There's things that I didn't even expect that are happening that's that's really good as well. Many of you who have provided your name and phone number on the sign-up sheet at the welcome desk in the lobby have already implemented a plan of action that usually is very simple, but very effective in reducing your expenses, increasing your revenue, or both. I encourage you to sign up tonight or the next time you're at church if you're watching online. There is a window of opportunity here for you. I have even had people listening from online to get in touch with me, several, and are benefiting from our conversation. One person in, my, in particular comes to mind is now earning $5,600 per year or $467 per month that she did not have coming in before just by a simple conversation and acting out of the obedience. You know, what? that's the thing. If you don't obey what the Lord says to do, then good things happen to you. I have created a, a file folder. I'm trying to get organized because I've got lots of people I'm talking with, but not nearly enough, by the way. I have created a file folder for every person or couple that I've talked with, including the notes I've taken as I talk to them on the phone, so I can refer back to them as progress is being made. Because sometimes it takes a little while to accomplish what we're trying to do. There are 55 folders so far. 48 of them are, or have been implementing the strategies we discussed, and they would strengthen their finances, and they're doing so. The remaining seven were finding a convenient time to talk. Since two weeks ago, there's been more testimonies. Have you enjoyed the testimonies? There's several more here tonight, and they're ongoing. In various stages of being accomplished and put into place, all strengthening their cash flow and their net worth. If you do the little things correctly, it will improve your standard of living. Somebody grab hold of that one. Now, here's a testimony from a lady in our church. She said this. We are learning how to live in wisdom. Our wise decisions make so much more sense to me now. It's making a big difference from barely making ends meet to now having money left over. I am so excited, she says. By using the equity we have in our house which has gone up in value, we were able to pay off all of our credit card balances, which totaled $44,000, each charging us 25 to 28% interest rates. Amen? Here's another one. More financial breakthroughs, she says. My credit card company credited me $559 due to a dispute with a merchant. I was looking in my purse for something and unexpectedly found a $20 bill in each pocket in my purse that I did not place there. There were five $20 bills. They were all folded in the middle. I did not do it, she says. It happened while I was on vacation returning home. Total of $100, seriously, she says. Glory to God, she goes on to say, I'll be closing all but two credit cards ranging from 24% to 31% interest rates. Zeroed them all out. Plus, I'll be getting over $400 in cash back rewards credit and an airline flight worth 29,000 miles and getting over $200 worth of gift cards. It just keeps on coming, doesn't it? I use them at four different restaurants and the rest I'll use as cash. 
She says, it may seem just a little, but it all adds up to be a huge blessing for me. Amen? Although I'm expecting, it's happening unexpectedly, she says. While I am always expecting, I just never know how God will choose to bless me next. More and greater testimonies to come, she says. Isn't that a great testimony? Lives are being improved one at a time. That's exactly the way that God told me that it would happen. He said, just take them on one at a time. They'll fall into place, and that's what's happening. Here's another one that is doing nearly everything to the optimum. It's not always everything bad. This one is really doing good. They owe nothing on their credit cards, which they pay off the balance monthly. They own their house with a substantial value, debt-free. Their car's paid in full. They have pension and annuity income in addition to their Social Security, dividend income, interest income from a certificate of deposit, and get this, they tithe. There's the key right there. Plus, they have $54,000 in a savings account and $15,000 in bonds, both not earning them anything. I told them this. If I was grading their financial performance, I would give them an A. I informed them how they could cash in the bonds and add that $15,000 to the $54,000, the total $69,000, and where to deposit it to earn about 5.7% which will earn them $3,864 per year or $322 per month, more than they had before. I also said that once that $69,000 is actually earning interest, their grade goes up to an A+. Plus. <laughs> Amen? That is perfecting the finances of the saints, is it not? That's what we're to do. The Word says to perfect the saints. They didn't specify, but finance is part of it, big part of it. Now that that was, that was an easy one. Some of you are a little more challenging than others. But what I have found, nearly every person that I have spoken to, there has been at least one idea or strategy that can help their finances to improve. Some quickly, while others will take a little bit of time, but they're doing it. Here's one of the, with, with God's direction all over it. This person has several things that they are faced with that had to be purchased or paid for. One was a car that had to be purchased in the amount of $26,000. Another was a medical necessity that would cost $6,500. And the third was an education loan for $8,500. I added these three numbers up, which totaled $41,000. There seemed to be no way to pay for these important items in their life. Then I noticed the value of their house had gone up. So the current value exceeded what their first mortgage balance was, providing them equity in their home of, guess what, $41,000 exactly. I said, that is interesting, isn't it? It matched exactly what you needed. I suggested to use the equity in the house as collateral for a line of credit and request interest-only loan, not just a second mortgage necessarily. Try to use it as a collateral for an interest-only loan to keep your payments down to a minimum and then keep the ability where you can pay it down as you can. If the interest rate is 7%, for example, then the interest expense would be only $239 per month on that $41,000, much less than what a car payment would have been, interest charged on the medical and education loans. Plus, the interest paid on a loan on a home is tax deductible, while interest on all the other three items is not. What initially seemed like there was no way God revealed a path that provided it all at a lower cost. Amen? Give, give him praise for this person. Thank you, Father. Things are going to happen for you as well. And a lot of you already are. I look around the congregation, I see people, and I just smile. Because what I've talked to them, I know what they're doing and how they're improving. And I know Jesus is smiling too. He's, he's smiling too because we're, getting, we're accomplishing what he's told me to do. Now, I heard that Jesus is the healer, and he certainly is the healer, but he's so much more. He is our provider, is he not? Not to say that we're to do nothing, but on the contrary, he instructs us. Does he instruct you? Reveals to us. Anoints our efforts. Provides us favor through the hands of men here on the earth. Enables us with our gifts, talents, work ethic, determination, Consistency, relentlessness, creative ideas and strategies, direction, goals, 
aspirations, dreams, efficiency. He has given us our helper, his Holy Spirit, and his wisdom. You see, each of us have all of the gifts and tools we need to make good things happen for us. Amen? For ourselves. Only if we first realize it, then only if we utilize them in our daily lives. He is waiting for us to move, to ask, and then to start doing. Remember, we're the doers here on the earth. The Holy Spirit is our helper. we got to give him something to help. Amen? As we do, you will see accomplishments that never seemed possible before. You will see them occur as you do. If you just pray and sit and wait and do nothing, he has nothing to bless. You've got to give him something to bless, and that is your efforts, your obedience to what he instructs you to do. You will look back after his ideas and strategies are in place and working on your behalf and say, this is so good. Why have I not been living in this before? His goodness is waiting upon you. When I was preparing all of this, this is where the Lord started to speak to me. And he said, this is what he said, and he said, say it to, to you all. So this is from the Lord to you all. And he says, wait no longer, says the Lord, for I have placed it right before you. When your dinner is placed before you, do you not partake? Likewise, your blessing I have for you is already there, just waiting to be manifested by your actions. I so desperately want it for you, as I know you do as well. Within my wisdom lies your specific answers that can quickly turn your financial woes into higher financial growth. It is not as difficult as it may seem to you, for my answer to your seemingly impossibility is quite simple once it is known by you. Some of you are benefiting. Some can now testify of how implementing my wisdom will remedy your anxieties. If you are stressed out with worries, try it my way, says the Lord. It is time to put pride aside and allow me to bless you beyond your current understanding. Try it and see, for you have nothing to lose and what I have for you to gain. Be attentive to my words and my ways, for within them is your pathway to freedom, your resolving solutions, and your best direction. I challenge you this day, says the Lord, lay down the procrastination, for now is my time for you. Neglect it not. If you continue to forego what I have for you, you will miss out on what you can obtain that can and will positively affect your lives for many years to come. You are doing much that pleases me. My blessing is your reward, says the Lord. So reach out and take what I am providing you now. Yielding to me will supersede using only your efforts. Amen? He wants me to repeat that, but he wants you to repeat it after me. Is that okay? Wait no longer, says the Lord, for I have placed it right before you. When your dinner is placed before you, do you not partake? Likewise, your blessing I have for you is already there, just waiting to be manifested by your actions. I so desperately want it for you as I know you do as well. Within my wisdom lies your specific answers that can quickly turn your financial woes into higher financial growth. It is not as difficult as it may seem to you. For my answer 
to your seemingly impossibility is quite simple. Once it is known by you, some of you are benefiting. Some can now testify of how implementing my wisdom will remedy your anxieties. If you are stressed out with worries, try it my way, says the Lord. It is time to put pride aside and allow me to bless you beyond your current understanding. Try it and see, for you have nothing to lose and what I have for you to gain. Be attentive to my words and my ways, for within them is your pathway to freedom, your resolving solutions, and your best direction. I challenge you this day, says the Lord, Lay down the procrastination, for now is my time for you. Neglect it not. If you continue to forego what I have for you, you will miss out on what you can obtain that can and will positively affect your lives for many years to come. You are doing much that pleases me, my blessing is your reward, says the Lord. So reach out, take what I am providing you now. Yielding to me will supersede using only your efforts. Give him praise. Thank you, Father. You know, surrendering and praise occur simultaneously at the same time. Surrendering to him and praising him. Let's do that right now. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your word. We thank you that everyone fully understands it and decides to implement what you've instructed us to do, and we will have great expectations that will follow in Jesus' name. Amen? Let's wrap all this up with another poem. Is that okay? With his help, I'll fulfill your dreams. It's entitled, You Will Soon See Financial Breakthrough. More cash flow than you ever knew. You will find ways to make ends meet. Plenty left over will seem so sweet. God has huge blessings coming to you. With your faith and efforts, you'll see it's true. High expectations is surely the key. With obedience in motion, it shall be. Stress and worry, try it his way. You'll like it so much, you'll want to stay. With God's promise, you'll say, for favor is mine. Financial rewards is truly a sign. He has provided gifts and tools we need. What we do now is to sow our seed. His goodness is waiting upon you. You will look back and see that it grew. His blessing is already there, waiting on you and a little bit of prayer. In his wisdom, our answers lie. All he expects is for us to try. Your anxieties must stop and then go. Peace and joy, more than you'll ever know. Be attentive to his words and ways. When the blessing comes, just give him praise. Your pathway to freedom is right before you. As you walk it out, you'll find it's true. It's not as difficult as it seems. With his help, It'll fulfill your dreams.